I didn't have intentions on coming back. <laughs> and now I am. And there's a, there's many different stories going into this, uh, this match. This dude's dream for 30 years is to do this one match that no one has been able to do here. This is, as, as Chrissy would say, uh, a Matt Tremont special because as much as I love wrestling, I loved flea markets growing up. From here in the Berlin flea market, that's where I had my store, Bulldozers Collectibles, for a couple of years. And, you know, we got bills to pay. So I'm, I'm going through all the old junk that we don't need and having a good old-fashioned uh, Griswold family flea market. It's hard to miss it when you're around it every day. And I don't leave here very much. I gave everything to a business that doesn't owe me anything. And it gave me so much in return. Going into like May, at that point, I haven't, didn't do anything. I didn't cut a promo. At that point, I just got days when Ricky powerbombed G Raver out of the ring onto me on top of the car. So I still wanted to do stuff, and I was just itching. I was like, man, I gotta wrestle. The, the, the white, the, the Chrissy will say, once I retired, I was like, a little more grouchy. <laughs> Two days after my birthday, I got a phone call wishing me happy birthday from Onita, then says, are you ready to come back? So he's saying a whole bunch of crazy cool things and me and Raver are freaking out while this phone call is happening. I have it on speaker. Uh, and then I end the phone call and we just look at each other and we're like, what the hell did we just hear? There's many different stories going into this, uh, this match. Uh, there, there's, there are so many things that have happened in this year, good, uh, bad, personally, professionally. Um, it has been the, this has been the wildest year of my uh, 32 on this planet Earth. <laughs> Toremonto, come back! I guess the first phase of all this and the story that we're, at first we we're just telling online on tweet, in tweets, uh, me ignoring and not answering him. I'm sorry, man. I need to know, Chrissy needs to know, we need to know, man. What? I'm gonna answer you. I mean, did you really want to come back? Did you really want to come out of retirement this soon? When I, when I retired, uh, I had all intents and purposes, uh, of staying retired, and I, I said it in my promo. I was supposed to stay retired. I was supposed to be a man of my fucking words. Before I even retired, uh, going into that night at sh other shows or online, all I saw was how fast is Matt going to be back? How fast is he going to, as they say, I guess, pull a Terry Funk and come back? As much as I wanted to come back, I didn't want to come back. Oh, Nita, 
And right now, if I had to pinpoint, the wife will, she said, she's like, uh, be selfish for once and, and do this. This dude's dream for 30 years is to do this one match that no one has been able to do here. And he happens to want to do that with me, which is nuts. I'm in a different, in a different position in life now, and I, I could not say no. Uh, because of the magnitude of the event, of what it means to him, and how a, the success of it, and I never really made decisions on, or was motivated by financials and money, but me and, me and the wife have been struggling for so long doing this, and we continue to do it and struggle because uh, she knows I love it and she's right there with me. Pulling this event off, which I know right now, Everyone in the wrestling business thinks, and, and they're correct, that I don't have a pot to piss in half the time. And they're probably like, how does H2O and Matt Tremont pulling this off? Uh, I don't know. You can ask Onita. <laughs> yeah, we have to change our lives a little bit. Pulling off this, the logistics of pulling it off, on top of everything else going on, it has been a very overwhelming process so far. And it's uh, jumping through hoops, but I think in the end, a, a lot like this year, when I would drive myself nuts just because I just wanted everything to be work go so well, uh, it'll just happen. And uh, having good faith, and because this year, as, as much as I've uh, pulled non-existent hair out of my head, uh, everything winds up always working out. And now this weekend, it's going to, I don't even know what it, it, it could do. I think all, all good. It has to happen. It's the, our biggest event. I would, I would, I would say damn near uh, with the magnitude of it and where it's going to be and everything else. Uh, aside from probably GCW, I think it's one of the biggest independent shows of all time. And uh, it'll be, it'll mean a lot when we pull it off and as the as i say countless times with the, the little promotion that could but uh, i think after that weekend i can't say that no more the original was in kawasaki stadium and this event had to happen on american soil in a baseball stadium and this is where it will go down at Trenton Thunder Ballpark. You will get the real match that you have been waiting for. You will get one-on-one -on -one Matt Tremont and Onita because it is our destiny. And when I say our, I don't say just Onita. I don't say Matt Tremont. I say the entire wrestling world and the faithful that has followed and supported us forever.